Hey everybody, Damien the Kung Fu Coach here. It's Chinese New Year. Happy New Year. So to celebrate, I'm going to share with you a great sweet chili chicken recipe. It tastes really good, and for those of you that care about such things, it's low FODMAP too. So I'm going to take you through step by step how to make this recipe. I'm going to share all the nutritional information, and unlike pretty much every cookbook ever, I'm going to tell you how long it actually takes to make, rather than some mythical timings that only robot chefs can manage. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this recipe, and of course remember to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Kung food. All right, first things first, what do we need to make this recipe? Well, the first thing is time, obviously, and having timed myself actually cooking this, I can tell you it takes an hour to prepare from the moment you get all of your ingredients out all the way to plating up at the end. Now, that's doing it on your own, so if you have a helpful assistant, it's probably going to take you about half as long because you can divide the tasks quite well with this. To make this, you'll also need a wok, a spider, some kitchen roll, a few bowls, measuring spoons, a saucepan, a knife, and a chopping board. Next, you're going to need your ingredients. This is enough to make four servings. First, you need plenty of ground nut or sunflower oil to do the cooking. Then you'll need four chicken breasts, five tablespoons of corn flour, two eggs, one red pepper, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of water, two and a half centimeters of ginger, a tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, one large chili, one lime, a handful of coriander, white pepper, and a tablespoon of garlic infused oil. Finally, you'll want enough rice to keep you going. I usually go for half a recommended portion per person because the packet recommendations tend to be a little bit inflated, but cook the amount of rice that you need because we all need different amounts. The first thing we're gonna do is make the sauce. We're gonna chop up our chili, our corn flour, and our ginger. We're gonna chuck these ingredients in a bowl and we're gonna mix them in with the brown sugar, the water, the soy sauce, the paprika, the salt, one tablespoon of the corn flour, the garlic oil, and the juice of a lime. Once all of those are in the bowl, give it a good mix and set aside. Now we're gonna get the rice going in some boiling water. I'm using brown rice, but you can use whatever rice you like. Now we're going to prepare the other ingredients. So first, chop your pepper and set aside, and then dice your chicken. To make the batter for our chicken, we need to separate out the egg whites from the yolks. As you can see, you can do this just by passing the yolk backwards and forwards between two halves of your eggshell. And then to that, we're gonna add four tablespoons of corn flour. Give that a good whisk. Once it's thoroughly mixed, you could pop your chicken in and mix it all together with your hands to make sure that it's evenly coated. We need to give our oil time to heat up. So fill your wok about a third full with your oil and then get it going nice and hot. We want it to be around about 180 degrees C. Also, make sure you've got a heat proof container ready because we're going to need to do something with this oil after we've finished cooking with it. To cook the chicken, we're going to dip it into the oil using a spider or some tongs. Watch out, it might get a little bit sticky because of the batter. And we're going to do this in batches, so probably around about a fifth of the chicken at a time, depending on the size of your wok. If you put it all in at once, you're just going to end up with a giant ball. Each batch of chicken wants around about three to four minutes. And once it's done, it should be nice and golden brown. Lift it out with the spider and drain it on some kitchen paper. Once all of the chicken is done, let the oil cool just a little bit and then pour it into a heat proof container. But be careful, you don't want to spill any hot oil. Once all of your chicken is cooked, Sprinkle a little bit of that white pepper over it. 
By now, the rice should be done. So drain it, let it cool, and then take a little bit of that oil that you have left over and put it into a frying pan and get it hot again. As soon as the oil is ready, put the rice into the frying pan and start to fry it. After a couple of minutes, you want to take those egg yolks that you've got left over, move the rice all the way over to one side of the pan and put the egg into the other. As soon as the egg gets into the pan, you want to start whisking it with a chopstick. Make sure it gets nice and scrambled and doesn't stick. Once the egg is mostly cooked, you can then stir it in through the rest of the rice, give it another minute or so, and then remove the rice from the heat. Now we're going to grab our wok again, put a little bit of that oil back in, and start cooking the red pepper. After about a minute, put the sauce in as well and give it a good stir. Once that's sizzling away nicely, get your chicken, put it back into the wok and give everything a good stir through so it's all equally coated in the sauce. Now your rice and your chicken is ready, so serve the rice into a bowl, top with the chicken and sauce mixture and enjoy. In terms of nutrition, for the sweet chilli chicken without the rice, you're looking at around 400 calories, obviously depending slightly on how much your ingredients actually weigh. And within that, you're gonna get 53 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbohydrates, nine grams of fat, add half a portion of brown rice into that, and you're looking at an extra 100 calories or so. But as I said, you have however much rice you feel you need. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, make sure you give that like button a good hard Marbu punch, hit the subscribe button, stay up to date on all of my future content. And if you try this out, leave a comment down below, let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. Have a happy new year. I'll see you next time.